Anglesey and Holyhead is home to some of the most beautifulest coastlines you'll ever see. Join me on this very fun-filled fishing adventure up and down the North Wales coast. You'll enjoy this one people, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome to Gamekeeper John's Fishing Adventures. Right then, we go in fishing. Well, that's pretty obvious because we've just clicked onto a fishing video. Just picked up my daughter, Lexi lad, and we're off. Where are we off? We actually don't know. We're gonna stop in Anglesey Bite Centre first because it's on the way. I normally use roast tackle and bite, but I'm not going that way. So we're gonna go to Anglesey Bite Centre, get some bits what I need. Um, big bites, big mackerel bites somewhere in Holyhead or Anglesey. We're gonna stop at the Gazelle Pub first because she wants to look for that sea glass stuff they find on the beach. Um, and I've got a tie a couple of rigs and my fishing bag is an absolute mess. I'll show you when we get there. So I'm gonna have half hour there, tie some rigs and stuff. And then um, I might even chuck a rod in. I might chuck a rod in at the Gazelle. And we've got to pop to my caravan, get the drop net. And I think we might hit Amlek. If we don't hit Amlek, we might get to the inland sea or something. Um, so I'm not too sure. What do you think we're gonna catch anything? Yeah, well. What do you reckon? A fish. A fish. <laughs> Gonna catch a fish. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> Don't even hang it, I'll take that. An animal. So yeah, we're off um, top end of Hollyhead, Anglesey. Um, just gonna see what happens. We're gonna put the rods out. Gonna clean my car out, because it's full of rubbish and rubbish. It's full of rubbish and fishing stuff. And it's got loads of crap in my fishing bag. I might still have bait in there from like last week. Where you gone, Lexi? What you got? What, what you got there? Pringles, Pringle Monster. Pringle I'm going to eat most of them now. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I'll see you when we get to Anglesey Bite Centre in View Maris. Bye. Anglesey Bite Centre really is an amazing tackle shop and has something for everybody. It has a huge selection of frozen baits and also loads of fresh baits. It has loads of end tackle, every little component you could possibly think of plenty of rods in stock and it's just a huge shop absolutely filled with fishing stuff definitely if you're in and around the area check it out done in anglesey bite center now which is up there um i ended up coming out with about 30 leads a shrimp pot now uh, a shrimp pot net thing now i've already got two in mike's lock up and i've already got one it's a caravan, so I've just had to buy another one. They're only six pound each, but there's loads of um, shrimp and prawns around in that, so I'm gonna have a little dabble in that, so what we can catch. Brought a few packs of mackerel, brought some big ox. Um, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go to the gazelle now, aren't we? Well, she has a little look around, and uh, I'm just gonna tie some rigs, tidy my box out, and get prepared for Amlick, because uh, I'm feeling a conga donga tonight. You feeling a conga eel? No. No. Lexi, you're supposed to say, you feeling the conger eel? No. Are you feeling the conger eel? No. <laughs> For God's sake. Well, Better? I'm feeling the conger eel tonight for you people. Oh yeah, the wind is well up. We've got 40 mile an hour gusts, I've just noticed. And I was just talking about it in the bait shop there. Um, it's not ideal. Oh well. Oh well, it'll happen. Next stop was the Gazelle Pub. Lovely place this is. It was a shame to see it shut because I really fancied a cheeky pint. The Gazelle Pub is directly opposite Bangor Pier, which also produces some amazing fishing. So while Lexi set off finding the gems in the sea glass, I took in the views and it didn't take Lexi long to find this big hole. Well done Lexi, good job. Right, it was time to get packed up here, get to the shop, get ourselves a little snack and head back to the caravan to pick up the drop net and get on the road. The gate is locked, we're ready to go. All right, kid. Oh, All right, kid. All right, where are we going? Catch a longer eel, aren't we? Yeah. And you're gonna have to show me your amazing drop netting skills, aren't you? <clears throat> yeah? Yeah. Drop netting's hard for anybody. 
never mind in the dark with a 10 year old. It was a birthday the other day with a 10 year old. We're going to have some fun tonight. What are we going to catch? We're going to get that con gear. Yeah. Change my mind. Change your mind. Feeling confident now. We've got everything we need. Right, we're going to get to Amlick, so we'll see you in about half an hour. But for you, it'll be about half a second. And here we are heading down the track to the mighty Amlick Harbour. There was somebody fishing on the end of the harbour wall here, which is ideally where I wanted to go, but that doesn't matter. But from previous experience, both me and Mike fishing this place, the conger eels, the bass, the big grass, everything seems to get caught from off the end casting out. So it wasn't the best fishing inside of the wall, which is what I had to do here, but you just got to take your chances while you can, haven't you? Anyway, stay with me, people, because the day after this video was took, I went out with Mike from That's a Bite and we had probably one of the most memorablest sessions ever. It was nothing but laughs from start to finish. Stay with me people because the end of this video is absolutely fantastic. One thing I have noticed as well is the wind is pushing from out the harbour. Now when me and Mike have had success here in the past, the wind has normally been pushing in. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but uh, we normally have the wind trickling and it seems to like load of fish in. It's pushing out the harbour now, so that means any bait fish or food or anything that would be in the harbour is going to push out where really we could want it blowing in. It's deep at the end, yeah? it's about 30, 40 foot at the end. Are yeah, you sure you don't want me to carry any of that? You good? Okay. She's a grafter, she gets stuck in. It does look cool, don't it? It does look cool. It's a lovely place to be fair, Lex, isn't it? Shame we couldn't get on the end, but it kind of is what it is. Um, we'll just do what we can. You sure you don't want me to carry anything? And your 10 year old daughter gets stuck in and will happily grind. Lovely place though. I've heard stories of big conger eels in here. Well, as you can see, Lexi's got the drop net in her left hand. So should we get lucky, we can drop net it. That wind is howling out now. What a place, though. What a place. To the left, Lexi, up them steps. Actual speed when you see somebody else walking towards your spot. How are we going to navigate this, then? Any plans? Broke my tripod! Joking. Stunning. I don't even know if to go on the end of the brake or head round to the left. What do you reckon, Lex? Should we have a little um, recce and have a little look around? No, I'm going to fish. On the inside, I'm going to flick one. Ugh, down by these slides. One sort of over the back wall. I'm gonna put the little um, prawn net out as well. This is yours for the night. Might give me your rubbish. Don't, don't leave plastic. Well, you gotta clip them red things up. I'm gonna put a couple of mackerel in there, a couple of mackie. I'm gonna tie it on, put some weights in. We're gonna drop it down on the wall, yeah? And what it will do is it'll sit on the bottom like that. Yeah, catch it, don't let it go in the water. And then the fish will dump, 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 dump. Lexi. And this stuff will go from there and catch it. Like you are an animal. So what Lexi's doing now, she's chopping these mackerel up on that one, Lex. Let him have it. And the other one your hands out the way that's it so we've got the big boat lead in the bottom got this on top it's all tied up the crab line so what we're going to do is throw this in give that i don't know 10 or 15 minutes um lexi's not allowed body edge so i've got to do the throwing in i might let her yeah but you can't go no closer than that you're not allowed on the edge so the drop net's in now and what i'd advise all you bits of um, rope that are left, wrap them round because you don't want nothing that you can trip over by the edge. Definitely do not want any bits of rope lying around because you might be in the soup. And as you can see there now, if I get a fish on, I'll bring it over that net. And then when the fish is over it, we lift up and then the fish should be in the net. That's the plan. Today's setup is Shimano Beastmaster reels loaded up with 25 pound Daiwa sensor line. They're fitted onto two 15 foot pen prevail rods on the leader icon tripod, fishing big baits on big strung Sakuma hooks. 
running up to the Sakuma lead clips and eight ounce leads because it's quite deep here and it pulls through. We have an 80 pound rig body, which is more than enough for the conger eels, which I've caught from here. I've caught eels down to the right there before, which is where I'm going to put the right rod. And I've also caught eels over to the back by the slates. So that's where the left rod's going. What has Lexi got in here? Hauling. That's what you call hauling girl. No, we've got a fish. We've got a fish. <laughs> Lexi's not blanked. What do you say, Lex? you got a fish. I didn't even cast him on rods in yet. Hey, 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 you little wriggler. Well, let's get him back in. But uh, Lexi's not blanked. She like the little dude. Big bite then. Um, I haven't really had a chance to do much. Uh, I've been talking to a couple of subscribers. The right rod's gone over a couple of minutes before the left one has. Here we go. Oh. Fish on, but me in the rocks. Okay. Follow me, Lex. That was a big bite. Come down here, Lex. That was a big bite, that was. Unfortunately, this fish took me into the snags, a telltale sign of a conger eel. Anyway, it was time for Lexi to check her pot. I've found a load of shrimp now. Oh, no, is what? We've got loads of shrimp. Oh my god, that's so many. They are. A Why is that one blue? These are a really good live bait for uh, bass, these are you people. Win. You win. An amazing you. live bait. Why the hell does it have bloody hair off of it? Put them on a float and you'll catch a load of bass on them. I want to see this bloody crab here, I do. Right, that's a weird looking crab, that is. Where is it? There. Looks bloody long, but it's hairy. He's hairy. Touch it, please. Oh, yeah. Look at him. for some baits we'll get it back in no we'll keep them in there for now because i ain't got a bucket yeah we'll try and get that conger eel yeah got a bit of a bite on that right one here we go here we go here we go the weird bites this evening that's what i'm getting that lex lex get the phone we're gonna have to hit that don't know what's going on getting a lot of them people a lot of them like snaggy ones and that don't look like conga bites. The one I lost seemed like a conga, that's more of like a tsh, tsh, weird bites. Lobster bites. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's not a crab, that's not a crab. I think, people, we're going to have to cut this one short because my darling daughter there is cold. Oh my god, we just missed. A big conga eel now, loves. <laughs> Keep the what you're filming on that phone. We just missed. What did we miss? A big conga eel, my loves. Right, we just missed a big bite. Right, this is real fishing. I would stay for another hour or two. It's nine o'clock. It's a school night. You just got to get to bed. So this is the blank's your fault now, Lex. Don't look yet. Don't look yet. No, we're not going to look till it comes over the edge now. Nope. No. This was just for a bit of fun for Lexi, this was. If it had been daytime, I'd have, um... Mm. As I say, they're a good bite, right? we knock them all back in. Because we don't want them all. There's a couple more there. Good eating, these as well, boiled up. Oh, really good eating. Oh my God, everywhere. Ooh, it's flapping on me. It's flapping on you. <laughs> these are good though, aren't they? Brilliant. Just they you. Well, well, you've caught all these. We need to get them back, don't we? They won't hurt you. The good eating then boiled up as well. Really, really good eating. Lex, what do you think of that? It was fun. Fun, yeah? Didn't really do much fishing, you know. Got a bit tired, didn't you? <laughs> What's that? But yeah, it's a real fishing and you've seen it how it is. So, um, adios. See you all in the next one. Well, as you just seen, last night didn't go to plan. No head torch. Um, phone memory kept filling up. <laughs> um... Didn't put my rig shark lights in, and I had my little one with me who was getting cold and couldn't be out that late, so it was, it wasn't a, it wasn't a night now. To be fair, we had a good time, we had a really good night, but uh, fishing-wise and recording-wise, it wasn't that good. So now, 
I'm off to pick up Mike from That Bite. The time's about half four now. High tide's about, about nine o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna go and grab Mike um, and we're gonna head up to Anglesey. I think we're gonna get on the Menai somewhere along by the Gazelle Pub, Bumaris. We might even go further around to Penman um, and see how it goes. We've got a storm coming in. Mike's just sent me a link to a storm. We've got really bad winds and gusts, but um, we're gonna go for it. I'm hoping we can get a fish in this video for you. We will get a fish in this video for you. Of course we will. Think positive, yeah? Manifest a big fat fish. But um, yeah, so stay with us. We're gonna head over to Mike's house now. Um, go and see what he's up to. And uh, Mike's gonna jump in here, he's in with me today. And uh, we're gonna go on a bit of a road trip and uh, might fish a couple of marks. We could be out till nine o'clock. We could be out till midnight. We'll see how the fishing goes. Um, yeah, looking forward to this. So um, see you when I get to Mike's. Here he is, look. Aye, aye. How we're are in, you? We're in Tesco. We're getting some supplies, some drinks, Pepsi Max for me, I think, some food, and Luke some Cole. batteries, some Luke ba Lucas aid for Mike, and some Luke batteries. Um, right, I'm going to go and do some shopping then, Mike. I'll see you at the tills. See you later, mate. Bye. Ta -da. Something to put in Mike's basket. <laughs> that one. That's going in Mike's basket. <laughs> Can't find him. I've been looking around for five minutes. I'm walking around with this in my basket. I'm hoping I can get it in his basket without him noticing. And then it'll show up on the checkout when he's there when I'm behind him. All right, try and find him. Where is... Down there, What are you putting there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just to keep your bait on, to make some sausages. Oh, That'd be all right in that law, that, wouldn't it? So put it on my bait, yeah? And vibrate. <laughs> no, we say the task is tapped, don't I? <laughs> Got it, he caught me doing that. Because I really wanted I really wanted him to get to the till and pay for that. I'm tempted to put it on a door though. I really wanted that at the till, but oh well. He busted me. <laughs> he asked me to get a bag, and when I've got a bag, he scanned that and put it in the thing. And I didn't I didn't know till I paid. Because he scanned it and put it on the self-service. And I paid and I was like, jam! But he always says I'm jammy, and I catch loads of fish because I'm jammy. So I'm going to prove him wrong, and I'm going to dip my bait in this tonight. So we're going to see how jammy we can really be, yeah. The jammy 13 pound bass tonight, I reckon. Big bass on yeah, jam. On Imagine jam. if it goes off big time, like all like, the sugars and everything. Sounds like a trail. Would be on the jam, wouldn't they? Yeah, this is going to be called. What should we call it? You got holy mackerel. <laughs> what are we going to call this one? <laughs> jammy John juice. <laughs> jammy John. <laughs> Strawberry whammo. Strawberry whammo. <laughs> Strawberry whammo, fishing ammo. That's it. That's it, perfect. That's it. That one, perfect. Right, I'm going to dip mate. my bait in this tonight. That's all I'm going to dip in it. And you'll all be on the jam soon, I'm telling you. Jam. Well, well, number one bait. Hi there, welcome to McDonald's. Have you ordered on the app today? Uh, no, I haven't. What could I get for you, please? Uh, I wonder if you could tell me where the best taupe fishing mark is in North Wales. Pardon? Uh, can I have two large Big Mac meals, please? <laughs> I genuinely didn't hear what you yeah, said. Yeah, two, two large Big Mac <laughs> meals, please. Yep. Both with coke. Both with coke. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have that one. No, I am. I'm going to have that one. Oh, I wanted that one, John. Really? I hope you rip it. Ah, oh, nothing what for me. What did you get? Have you got, is that the laptop one? I've got nothing on I there. I need a laptop one. You, know, you want anything? What have I got there? Come on, pull it. Why, why is it upside pull down? It. Pull it. Ah, you're not one nothing either. The angel. Oh, that's quite a, See if a I win rare anything one, on that. the big Mac. Yeah. And you never win on these, like let yeah, them all out. What's that then... laptop one? I need 511 or whatever it's called. Do you really think you're going to win? Yeah, yeah. you got more chance no, of catching got... a £10 bass like this one, mate. Yeah. <laughs> to find the square, okay? See if I can get lucky on my chips. Da, 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 da. Oh, I can't even open it, they're going everywhere. Come on. Hash brown or a cheesy bacon or flatbread. Get in! Let's have a look on your chips, mate. On my chips? Let's have a look on your chips. Yeah, that's, me. that's on my chips. I've got a ch my chips. That's a bite. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> and I've got yep. a cheesy bacon flatbread or ash brown. Go on, get into it. Oh. Flat top. Oh. oh. Wah, wah. What do you mean you got my bean in? You got your bean. <laughs> 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 you had to clip. You're saying my a bean. That's on as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your bean in. You lied, right. mate. We're, um, we've got to change your plan as normal. We was going to get to Menai. Um, but we're going to Hollyhead, to the edge of the land. I went to the edge of the land yesterday in Amlick, the other way, and blanked. <laughs> yeah. 
We're going to fish Dock Back or whatever it is. Dock Back. Dock 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 Back. Dog back. Dog, dog back. back. Like water off back. a dog's back. It's duck's back, isn't it? Dog's back. Dog's back, it. yeah. Well, water soaks into a dog's back. But anyway, we're going there because it's deep. It's dark. It's wet. It's high tide, low tide. And we're lazy, so we can just fish from the car. So we'll see you when we get to dock back. We've got about another 35 minutes to go now. Got to du get some fjorter in the red. <laughs> Double that, mate, because we've well, got the yeah. traffic. But um, if I don't catch a fish tonight, I've done. Yesterday I come from Cheshire to fish Hamlet, which was three hours. I've done another hour and a half tonight. I've got about four and a half, five hours travelling. we still got to get back, which is another hour and a bit. We're about six hours travelling. But I have got some jam. And if I... <laughs> <laughs> That's the one jam in here. I've Let's get it jam. done. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll show you a bit of the journey. I'll show you where Doc back is, and we'll go and have a look. Um, see what it's like. We should catch some. We will catch some. Let's go, Johnny. Let's go. Where are you taking us, John? I don't know. I've gone around the island three times. <laughs> right, keep it rolling. That's what's that? Is that the ferry? That is the ferry. Oh my god! We're gonna get we're gonna get custom checked in a minute. Right, it's been a while. Right, follow me. Could be up here. Why don't you go through that, dear? Bar, bar with a side. Bar, okay, bar, oh, bar. Oh, oh, oh. That's it, Cena. Where is it, John? Quick, where the hell are you taking? Right, trust me. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Are you sure? We're going to sure. get custom checked in a minute, mate. We're not. We're going to be on the ferry in a minute with a point of no return. <laughs> right, follow, follow the road. Follow the road, follow the road. Follow the road. Right, okay, we've got some guy here on the left. Okay, he's just jumped the border. He's just selling a few ten bags. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in a council Nothing estate wrong. now, John. Nothing wrong with council estates. I know, I live in one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, God. Where are we, John? <laughs> Bear with me, okay? We're on the edge of the land. Edge of the land. Right, so just keep rolling. You're going to see the best fishing spot you've ever seen in a minute. Okay. Follow me. All right. I'm, I'm sat in the car following you, mate. All right, go back a little bit. And, yeah, I'm following you now, mate. Right, we've got this. Okay. Oh, my oh, God. Is that it? Oh, rail then. Look at that. There's got to be some big sallies in here. Uh, I think we come in here. Okay, okay. I hope it's not blocked. Can like, you see any shutters? No, there's no shutters, no gates or anything. And this is deep as... Deep as what? Mail crap. Mail crap, okay. Deep as mail crap. But that boat's right in the way. No. Oh, look at the size of them potholes, Jesus. Oh, they're big potholes, them. Bloody hell. Right, that boat's in the way. Right, come on, that boat's where I want to go. Ah, here we go, look. Oh, wow, look This at is that. called Dock Back, and this is about 30 foot deep on low water. Oh, you know there's got to be some conga dongas in here, don't so you? So what we're going to do is we're going to park here. It's a bit choppy, mate. Can you keep my camera the right way up, please? If the horizon's not sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Good. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Right. And here we go, look. I'm going to show the viewers that way. You're looking the wrong way. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry. Right, yeah. this is our home. I'm going to show you a quick look around. Good luck, mate. Blowing a hoolie. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Michael just both opened the doors at the same time and it's I've got... gone. <laughs> It's blowing up absolute ooly. ooly. We've just looked, we've got thunder and lightning at nine o'clock as well. Yeah. I've done five hours fishing on this video, traveling, and about an half hours fishing so far. It's a bit windy, windy. We're gonna have to make this work, Wendy. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, let me grab this door before we get out. Oh, here we go. I'll tell you what, no, it's not that bad, is it? The, the, the footage might be a bit. Uh, there's, there's voiceovers for dodgy wind. I might go over here so I can just leave my rods on this rail. Yeah, oh, there's some steps there to net from as well. Of course, we're allowed to fish here. There's no signs. So if we get something big, we got the drop net anyway. This is Mike from BBC News, <laughs> broadcasting live. <laughs> Hello, this what? is Dad to Bite. Is that a pom pom? <laughs> the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's Mike from Natter Bite, and uh, today uh, we've got a few Tom Pots and uh, the wheels, and you know, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit uh, Storm Storm Eugene's on the way. <laughs> it's Storm Eugene, Storm <laughs> Eugene, with it, forty mile an hour. Is it? Is it Eugene? Was it Agnes? Ag Ag Agnes? 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 I think we've got Agnes. Storm Eunice or Agnes with thunder and lightning and lights. <laughs> I'm going to be anyway, like a weather we, presenter. We, we better go. Customs are on us. Uh, <laughs>
bite of choice for tonight from Roast Tackle and Bite, number one in the area, check it out. A couple of packs of mackerel, some blueies and some anchovies and of course, jam. That's going to be the key ingredient, that jam. I know it, first two bites are ready. Forcing the head in so it goes all in the mouth. Big ups, big bites. So the left rod was just being dropped in the margin about a foot away from the wall. It's actually about 35 foot deep here. That's so deep. The right rod was being sent about 25 yards out again in some extremely deep water. It took about 10 or 15 seconds for the lead to hit the bottom. That's how deep it is. so deep it just dropped forever that did my fingers are st so sticky from that jam yeah I am, I am so sticky <laughs> mike 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 big bite big bite which one's that one on your conga yeah 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 which phone which phone oh you're on oh missed it you on that was on the jam that didn't take long on the jam N no fish but a big bite on the jammy mackerel minutes mate mm. we're jamming bait is totally gone so I'm gonna get the other bit of mackerel in the jam and go again totally gone we're jamming we're jamming jamming, jamming along oh yeah don't tell them John. oh yeah conga rod already yeah you have to wait oh here we go something's going on here <laughs> oh no Johnny 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 no no Right, that's two quick missed bites both times. The mackerel's gone. I'm only hooking the mackerel on. So now I'm going to bite elastic on both of them. Uh, so it's not going to come off as easy. I thought I'd try and cut corners and just hook it on. Two rods have gone in two minutes on the jam. <laughs> on the jam. So I'm going to bite elastic the mackerel on now. It'll stay on longer. Uh, they're not just pulling it off then. Um, you learn as you go, don't you? So we're going to make it happen. The jam. The jam is absolutely kicking off. I don't know what's going here with this jam. Going on here with this jam. I was saying to Mike on the way on a serious note Sorry about the wind if you can hear it I'm, I've got the phone in the car so I should cut a lot out um, We're saying carp fishing You get strawberry flavoured boilers Strawberry glug They love sweet stuff This I'm getting a bite every like a minute on the jam <laughs> Fish on Fish on Feels alright Oh, the jam! The jam! <laughs> the jam is going off like. <laughs> John, John's in on the jam. The love in the jam, mate. It was only a joke, wasn't it? Jesus! The jam, John. I'm coming, John. Hold on. <laughs> Not big. What is it, John, boy? It's kicking. First fish on. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, I knew he'd like the jam, mate. On the jam! On the jam! Jamming! We're jamming! Fish is a fish, we're kicking off on the jam. It's a doggy, but we'll take it. <whistles> Literally, a bite every 30 seconds. I can't keep the rods in. We're jamming. We're jamming. <laughs> Might have only been a doggy, but on a serious note, you don't get bites that quick. Like three or four bites in like five minutes. Could be onto a haul of dogfish here. <laughs> Absolute jamtastic. I can't keep up this pace all night. <laughs> um. Wow. Is it the jam? Or is it just because there's dogfish here? But... Nah, John, it's a jam, mate. My rods are doing nothing. But Mike's rods are doing nothing, and I've had four bites in the time Mike's have done nothing. On the jam. So we're fishing the same rigs, pretty much, the same baits in the same area. I've had four bites, he's had none. Well, I've only been in for two minutes. I've only been in for four minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this. 
minutes now. We'll, we'll see how it goes on the jam compared to no jam. Yeah. That'd be a true test today. We'll see, because Mike's not using the jam, and I am. And as I say, like, people use strawberry flavour glug, strawberry luncheon meat, strawberry boilies, strawberry sweet corn. It's really big um, in the coarse fishing world, strawberry flavour. The jam. It's really big in the uh, coarse fishing world. Let me know what you think. Seriously. Is the jam making a difference? You should have brought that thing that I put in your basket and if that would have made a difference. Oh, I'll have to you, know, back you know, you get the lures that vibrate with rattles in and that. That would have get off a bit of signal under the yeah, water like a, to go back and get it, like, a, like a distressed fish. Distressed fish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is, you know, when you fish with like squid and mackerel, yeah? And you stink like mackerel and that. Mate, I could suck these fingers now. It, smell, <laughs> it smells like a primary school kid's pack lunch. You know, and they get it all over the fingers and their hands. Yeah, but honestly, you can't lift your fingers now, John. You've still got a sense of mackerel on your hands. You've been very poorly, okay? It smells. Yeah. I'm going to go back smelling fresh. <laughs> can I can have a smell? And I hope my audio's all right, because out here it is blowing an absolute hooli storm. Is it Eugene? Agnes? Agnes. Agnes, Eugene. Storm, storm Agnes or Eugene's coming. With This wind is really bad, but I think I've got the phone out the wind. I'm hoping I have. Five bites to nil on the jam. Jam back. Mike's just pointed out. Well, Mike never pointed out. We've just been fishing with a couple of locals, only live over there. Very good lads. Good to meet you as well. Both follow the channel, recognised us. Uh, and they corrected us. This isn't dog's back or dog back. So we don't even know where we are, but I stumbled across this last year while driving. Uh, I was a, a bit on one and went for a long drive and stumbled across this. And... Um, yeah, but me and Mike have said what we're going to call it now. This is going to be known as Jambach. If anybody fishes it, if anybody comes here, it's called Jambach. <laughs> Jambach. <laughs> oh, on a serious note, though, five bites for the jam. No bites for the striped mackerel that Mike's on. <laughs> but we'll see how this one falls near the end of the night. Because it's just, it can't be right, can it? Or can it? Lobster! You got a lobster? Lobster! <laughs> I got a lobster! On the jam! On the jam! Don't tell Lee! <laughs> lobster Lee, you need to put some jam in your pots, mate! <laughs> Everything loves the jam. So I'm on the rag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna paint and jam for fishing. Yay! Oh, he's definitely undersized, so let's get him back. <laughs> Lobster! I need your bait elastic, Mosh. Here. Hold on. Give me that jump. Bait elastic, Mosh. How <laughs> 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 immature! And while I'm here, people, I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks. Um, big fish landed on no wall the other week, but the wind and the rain was terrible. I did have a doggy in that from there. It wasn't worth putting a video together. But while I'm here, I want to say thank you because we only hit 60,000 subs the other day. And although I have been active for a bit, we were ready to hit 61,000. Probably by the time we see this video, we 61,000. So it's absolutely flying, even though I ain't doing nothing. So if you like this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button. I only took my phone off for a minute just to check um, check my messages. As soon as I've took it off, it's gone over. <laughs> it's just gone right over. Right, let's go and see what Mike thinks about this jam. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, Mike. This is how it goes, okay? Now, I'm probably going to ruin my video here, but I don't care, okay? So far, I've had one bite, missed fish, okay? Been in, been in literally probably five minutes after John, so similar sort of time we've been in for about an hour, haven't we? Maybe a bit more. John's getting all these bites on the jam, right? And it's like, 
we're in the same area, okay? So I fish in the same baits pretty much. The only thing I'm fishing differently is John's on, you're both on running rigs, aren't you? Yeah. So that's the only difference between John's bites, but it's the jam. I'm convinced of it, the jam is doing these bites. So the only thing I can do in a bit is if I'm still not catching a fish, towards the end, if it gets really desperate, I've got to get on the jam. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll know then whether it's really the jam or not, because static rods at the moment so is it the jam is it the rig or is it just jammy john himself we it's don't know me. it's just you isn't it yeah no it's not it's the jam 100 it's, it's the jam and jammy john it's it's the proofs in the proofs in the jamming yeah the proofs jam's in the, the pudding the jam, the jam is in the pudding the jam is in the pudding yeah the jam's in the pudding the jam's in the pudding but yeah i don't know what to do I'm sat here like this look 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 I'm sat here like this look Sandwich. Jam sandwich. Yes, please. <laughs> and while you're here, okay, while you're watching me, don't forget to subscribe to that bite, please, because that's a jam bite. We're going into jam, jam business and start selling jam. Yeah. What jam? Are you in jam? Something. Slow lunges. Oh, the <laughs> state of that. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably been jammed up, he hasn't. <laughs> the poor Mackie. We jam it. <laughs> this was a big bite. It actually took line off the clutch. Whoa, whoa. That's not line. line, that as well. Took line that did. Yeah. Mm, did you hear the clutch go then? Went over, it's gone zzz, took line. Could have been a doggy, not gonna lie, but that's the first time tonight something's took line. Actually went, didn't it? Took the clutch. Give me that jam. Just get it in the pot, will you, John? I'm gonna get it in, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Go on, what'd you do? I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> get away. <laughs> that. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> jam on toast, anyone? <laughs> oh, don't, don't, you don't, don't you break that jam jar. Jam. I'm gonna be fishing this drop next, so I'm gonna do. It's going to be sticky and minging there, isn't it? <laughs> That'll do, that's enough jam. I'll I need some jam in a bit, John. I'll put the jar in. No, 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 save some jam. Save, save some jam. That'll do, that's <laughs> enough jam. <laughs> well, we'll save that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this in. There's nothing else in there. There's a bit in there. We're going to see if jam really does catch stuff. Come with me, mate. <laughs> Lower this down. Doctor's just jamming it. Get off the wall a little bit just in case there's any weed. Oh mate, I think we can see prawns and everything down there already. <laughs> this is staying in until we go. Keep going. Oh, it's so deep, you know. Still going. Still going. Still going. <laughs> Bloody hell. Still going. Just at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is tie this off. I'm gonna pull this in before we go. Let's see. I should have a 20 pound conger in there. Gonna do a couple of quick knots like that. That's it. I'm gonna pull that in just before we leave. See what the jam is all about. Proper jammy. Jammy. Your jammy fingers, mate. <laughs> We're gonna to have to check John Boy's crab pot. The jammiest pot in Hollyhead. See what you got, eh? I'm gonna test the depth one. These are feet two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And it's just come up, so that's about twenty-four foot of water there. You got anything in your jam? Oh, you've got something in your jam. There's something bouncing there. I seen it on this side then. I'm sure, there was something. Yeah, I can hear it. It's a prawn. There it is. There it is. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jam. Mr. Jam, the prawn. No. Look, we're jamming. We're jamming on the prawny with you. Now, if we're staying long enough now, we definitely have to put the prawns out 100% because that is a cracking bait for the bass. Right, bye, mate. Let's get him back. Yeah, mate, anything else? Honest, honestly, go over to my channel and you'll see the bike. That's a bike, literally. And I absolutely bent round. But by the time I click record to get over to the rods, the bike's gone. And that's what we have to do for you guys. We have to, like, you know, you're on the cameras and stuff, but if you're actually physically stood next to that rod, you can boof and you can hit it. Like, ah, frustrating that. But. Well, I'm going to be signing off now I am unless anything else happens so head over to that to buy one subscribe and subscribe to me you've got to subscribe to John I'm going to be uh... yeah I'm going to be signing again, out John. no 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 let's stuff you put it again that to buy get over to it because I'm not far off 9,000 now and I need to get to that 10,000 by Christmas to every single one of you now literally has to go off on the back of this video and you have to head over to that's a bite john will you put it in the description below for a tenner for a tenner i'll give you a tenner <laughs> oh, 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 but yeah head over to that to bite because if this goes on a fish now john's gonna cancel this now and then you'll see it on my video won't you but yeah head over have to anyway regardless get over there help me get up to 10,000 subscribers it's not that far off